welcome to London. Welcome to the History Lord Channel. You join me here again in the city of London. This is the junction of Newgate Street and Hoban Viaduct and we're looking for something that's got a little lost in the railings and it's this. This is the first public water fountain in London. It was opened in 1859 or dedicated in 1859 by the Metropolitan Drinking Fountain and Cattle Trough Association. <coughs> That's a hard one to remember. And it made history by being the first water fountain for man and beast. Originally, it was sited a little further back on Hoban Hill, but when Hoban Viaduct was created in the 1860s, it moved to its present site here. Where is it? It is outside St Sepulchre without Newgate. It's a strange name for a church. Without Newgate simply meant it was outside the city wall and it was outside the new gate in the old Roman wall. So why is it here? Well in 1852 the Metropolis Water Act made it illegal for water companies to supply water directly from the Thames. Typhus was uh, in its abundance there, so was cholera and many many people were dying. Now when this was first dedicated in its original spot around about 7,000 people a day used to use it. That's how important it was for the local area. It was the brainchild of two men Samuel Gurney and Edward Wakefield and they were two philanthropists who decided to help their fellow men out by providing the water fountain. They provide it because, and I quote, they are the only agency providing free supplies of water for man and beast in the streets of London. Over the years around about 85 of these fountains and cattle troughs were provided by the charity. The society changed its name more recent years to the Drinking Fountain Association which I hope you agree is a lot easier to say than their original name was. This is as it would be originally uh, when it was first dedicated and the reason it's here is it's because it's opposite the Viaduct Tavern. The Viaduct Tavern, a very old uh, Victorian pub and Samuel and Edward decided that it would be a nice alternative to have clean drinking water rather than drinking beer. In the 1800s drinking beer was actually safer than drinking the local water. Complete as it is today with its cups which you probably wouldn't drink out of but nowadays the water supply has been turned off. Well thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video if you do enjoy these videos then please do subscribe to our channel and if you want to know when videos are uploaded then please hit the little subscribe bell the little notification bell just below us and if you'd like to see what we do outside of these videos then please go to historylord.co.uk and find out about our walking tours of London. Thank you for watching we'll see you soon. Samuel and Edward decided that they would, what did they decide? I don't know what they decided.